We have an opportunity this afternoon. We've had opportunities in the last 10, 11 years. It hasn't happened for them. Well, they know the early part of the game. You can't win it, but you can lose it. You know, you lose yourself a oh, goal. Oh, Sissoko's giving that straight to Hubar. Good save from Bell. Oh, he's bailed out Sissoko there big time. I have no idea what the centre-back is thinking about. Early in the game, I'm just about to say, take no chances, clear your lines, passes it straight to Gary Hoover, and he should score. Chances do not come any better. Well, they're actually getting their confidence now. You know, a lot more players getting on the ball, looking like they're up for the challenge. Had they gone behind early, it could have floored them, but they picked themselves up and they've dragged themselves back into the contest. Gordon, that ball had stayed in. Heffernan blocked by Wanyama, still it's Kilmarnock. It's not that far away from Shields with a snapshot. It is a good effort. You know, when it comes back to him, he doesn't have an awful lot to aim at, and he's going to be closed down, but hits it well. Doesn't miss that far post by much. You can see it just doesn't quite get his foot round the ball. No bend on it, but close. Charlie Mulgrew. Ledley. Wanyama to Matthews. So more attacking than defending in the first half for Welshman. Gets it back from Brown. This is the Celtic skipper. Good skill from Brown. That's fantastic. Great ball in. Looking for Stokes. Good save, Bell. And Sissoko gets rid of it. Only just. Well, Cami Bell has been the hero big time for Kilmarnock so far. Muldrew. You'll take this in the hand in sunshine. Away by Hay. He's trying to complete the clearance. Harkins is on to it now. Now Killing may have a counter-attack on here. Heffernan. Lee Johnson's in terrific space back into the box. Moved it to the central area. Now the Shields goes for goal and it's saved by Forster. That's another great piece of goalkeeping. Terrific break from Kilmarnock. Defending a set piece. Look at the bodies that get forward to cause problems here. And Dean Shields wants to cut on to his, his right foot, his stronger foot. And he just gets a nick there, and that is a good save. Just bounced awkwardly in front of Fraser Forst as it came towards him. Shields has looked the most likely up front for Kilmarnock so far. He's playing behind Paul Heffernan, who you see there. That's Sissoko, and it's off the line. Well, it was Stokes who was there. Normally, it's up the other end of the park, Anthony Stokes does the job. And that time, right on the line is the head. It's advantage of having big, long legs. You know, if you go to ground and then you've got to time the tackle perfectly, he did. Ledley, it's going from one end to the other. Forrest. Hasn't really got into the game yet, but this is promising from Forrest, not a great delivery, but it does come through to Brown. Stokes wants it and gets it. Charlie Mulgrew. Forrest! Oh, and Hooper was inches away. Yeah, if Gary Hooper gets, gets it in there, he's actually offside. The flag has gone up, but good play by Celtic again, around the edge of the box. Comes to Charlie Mulgrew, I think he fancied a shot, poor first touch. Gives it to James Forrest, you can see two players offside. Involved again there was he who lifted the Scottish Cup, of course, last May. Stokes. Didn't quite come down Hooper, but that's Brown! Wow! But he's given a corner. Thought that went straight across, but... Has Cammy Bell got another touch on that because it's an absolute beauty from Scott Brown when it comes back to him quickly. It's right in his stride and he can't hit this any better. And it is Manny Pascali. The Italian sitting this one out. You've seen a bit of gloating on a certain social network website yesterday about the rugby. As Dean Shields goes through, Shields is in! Oh, he's fluffed his lines! It might come to Fowler. Headed away by Wilson. Forrest onto that, oh what a chance for Dean Shields, and now Celtic go on the counter attack with Forrest, he was tucked back, that'll be a yellow card, you would think, for Fowler. Well, the very man that Kilmarnock would want an end of this chance, their best finisher, coolest finisher, can't believe he gets through here, gets the break of the ball, pick your spot, 
a complete miss kick, almost turns into a pass, but it's an incredible miss from there. You would fancy Dean Shields to hit the back of the net. In games this season that Celtic have managed to win convincingly, they've been banging the goals in, they've had other ones as well, where they have been narrow victors in games. They had to grind results out, and that's completely Joe Ledley. Well, he just back to goal when he got control of the ball. He couldn't find the target on the turn. Well, his first touch is great because it gets onto his left foot, but then he goes just this a wild, wild effort. You know, touch and then find the corner, but he's gone for power and missed by a couple of yards. All happening in the Kilmarnock half just now. Oh, but very few teams this season have kept Stokes, Hooper, and Forrest as quiet as this Kilmarnock back lot just now. They have done so well, but they can't afford to drop the pace for a moment. Well, that might come through to Stokes and has. It is Anthony Stokes. What an opportunity! And again, Tammy Bell was there. Not that Stokes got behind it as he would have liked. Straight at the goalkeeper, and he's timed the run perfectly. No, there he is. And see he's onside, then this is a brilliant cut inside, and then he too goes for power. Straight in Clapper and Zander Matthews on the, the main stand side, the referee let play go on, later came back for the booking. Keys delivery. And then tipped over by that man, Bell again! Well, he's having a great afternoon, I don't think that this is the most difficult save he's ever going to face. When Yala does well to get the header on target, but does the right thing, tip it over. Just come at a nice height and straight at him. You know, and the kind of form he's in today. No goals yet, but plenty of drama. Matthews up against Gordon. He plays it off Gordon. It's a great challenge from the Kilmarnock left back. Heffernan. See that pain killing injection, that groin injury at the beginning of last week. He it from Fowler, Gordon, Johnson, oh this will be interesting, Kilmarnock have scored, six and a half minutes to go, and Kilmarnock through what turnout have taken the lead at Hampden and have stunned Celtic and may well, may well have ended their treble hopes. It is a brilliant goal from Kilmarnock because of the ambition they showed. You see how many men they have got in the box here as they move from back to front. It's easy for players to not make up the ground. There are four bodies in the box. Terrific ball into the back post. And the Belgian bullets at home. Fantastic goal, Kilmarnock. Great play, great ball. Finished by a terrific header. Well, quite incredible. Van Tornock on as a second-half substitute a few moments ago has given Kilmarnock a real chance. So even if Celtic do force extra time, they could be down to 10, as they were when they beat Kilmarnock 3-0 here 11 years ago. Samaras saved by Bell again! And again! Unbelievable afternoon he's had, absolutely sensational. Samaras cannot hit this any better. Goes across the keeper, asks the question, and Cammy Bell has produced the answer. When it comes out, another chance for Collins. Hits it well. There he is. Gary Hay. Right into the corner for Heffernan. The clock is ticking. It's ticking away, and he's given that to Kilmarnock, as Willie Collins. And surely, surely it's done. Kenny Shields looks on. Nerves jangling, Scott Brown clears. It is a goal kick, but time is up. And Kilmarnock have won the 2012 Scottish Community.